Excuse me, sir. Good, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Please, sir. Rasmi is from Mysore. Yes, sir. And I had Mysore sandal. So, do mm -hmm. we have sandal forest in Mysore? Uh, yes, sir, we have. Uh, how big? It's a part of uh, Western Ghats, sir. Hmm? It's a part of Western Ghats. How big are the forests? You have seen those forests? Uh, sandal forest. Hmm? Uh, you have seen the tree? How big is the tree? Sandal tree? Sir, I've seen the forest. In the pictures, I am not seeing it again. Okay, the picture. How big is the tree? Uh, it's about uh, 10 meters. Hmm? 10 meters. Straight tree or crooked? It's a straight tree. Huh? Straight tree. Straight tree? Hmm. Uh, is it impressive? Like sandal is very impressive. It looks impressive? It's like a normal tree. Normal tree. It smells? Yes, sir. It has got a fragrance. Fragrance. Hmm. Yeah. When you enter inside the sandal uh, wood forest, you can find out, yes, we are entering in the area. Sure about it? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Suppose you are in a foreign visit, USA. Somebody asks you, uh, uh, do we have forest in, your, uh, in India? Hmm? And you ask to describe. Just describe in two minutes about Indian forest. So, so, India has very uh, varied types of forests. So, for example, it has evergreen forests, it has dry, deciduous forests, and also scrub forests. So, uh, so both are similar. How much area we have, geographical area, what is our policy? Mm -hmm. Uh, in terms of area, uh, India has a uh, maximum area of uh, deciduous forest. Uh, percentage uh, of geographical area? Sir? Percentage of geographical area of India? Okay, sir. Uh, uh, presently, 21.61% 21 percent, 21 percent, uh, percent, uh, is the uh, forest area of India. Dependency on forest? The people are dependent on forest or not? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, okay. What is the difference between IIT and ITI? IIT, mm -hmm. you know IITs, yes, and there are ITIs also. What is the difference between uh, the two? Sir, IIT is an engineering, uh, it's our degree, uh, degree college, sir. Uh, it provides uh, engineering graduation, whereas uh, ITI is a. Uh, uh, what is the full form of ITI? Sir, so I'm not sure what the full form. Uh, it provides basically uh, industrial training. Uh, vocational training. Ah, vocational uh, industrial training. Okay. You know what share market? Yes. Sir. Hmm? What is happening these days? Uh, so there is a fall in uh, share markets. Hmm. Why? Because of uh, uh, there is a withdrawal of. Uh, money from foreign, foreign investors. Okay, what is our market cap? Uh, I am hmm. not sure about the exact number. Okay. <clears throat> mutual funds, you know? Yes, sir. Uh, you have invested in mutual funds? Yes. Have any idea about investment? Uh, sir, what are the uh -huh, What are the factors? Okay, your parents are investing. What are the factors to be seen while investing money in mutual funds? Uh, sir, in case of mutual funds, there will be Clubbing, uh, the, uh, clubbing of different companies, sir. You need to look into the share, different the shares of the companies, I mean, mm. different ratios of the companies, okay. and performance of those companies. Mm. Uh, and also, uh, the risks associated with the companies. Sir. Okay. Mm. What is the importance of teamwork? The teamwork work is necessary? Uh, Examples of teamwork? Tell me teamwork in the government. Uh, sir, say for example, uh, from the top bottom. From the top to bottom. Ah. Uh, 
Yes, in the government we have team. Huh? What team we have in the top? Uh, sir, in the top we have Niti Aayog. Huh? Niti Aayog is there, sir. Which is uh, that is on the top. We have what we have in the government. Government is ran by. Uh, sir, uh, we have cabinet, sir. Ah, uh, so cabinet is a team. Yes, sir. Hmm? And they have responsibility. What is that responsibility called? Mm, sir, they are responsible. Wrong, sir. They what are what is that responsibility called? Team uh, response. Uh, collective response. Rashmi. Okay. So Rashmi, you are from Mysore. Yes, sir. Okay. So Sri Rangapatnam was recently news regarding some issues. What were the issues there? Why is Sri Rangapatnam important in history? Uh, fourth, I know my war, war was fought there, sir. Hmm. 1799. Hmm. Sultan uh, was defeated by by, uh, by British and uh, Mysore State was, uh, you know, Mysore was Mysore State was given over. Okay, fine. So you are a commercial tax officer, right? Can you tell me uh, in Karnataka uh, when it comes to the fuel prices, hmm. petrol and diesel, what is the percentage of VAT? in the price structure for both the fuels? Sir, it is more than 100%. Sir. More? I am not exactly sure about the exact number. It is more than 100%. Sir. More than 100% of the base price? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So, is it too much or uh, still the state government needs more revenues from the fuels? What is your take? Uh, sir, uh, the constitutional division Center and states is such that uh, center has got uh, more taxation power, sir. Mm. For example, it has got direct taxes. Whereas in case of uh, state, uh, tax power itself is less. With the introduction of GST, uh, the maximum tax rate has been fixed as 28%. Sir. Mm. So, uh, along with that, the current economic situation is that such that uh, there is corona and uh, post corona effects on economy. So, uh, at present situations, we need to have the state should have a power to tax stop it was Okay, uh, can you tell me uh, what has been the GST collection for the whole of Karnataka last month? So it exceeded one lakh crores. One lakh crores. Okay, fine. That's good. So, uh, Rashmi, can you tell me uh, what percentage of the Western Ghats passes through Karnataka? Sir, it is around 30%. 30%. And what, uh, which are the districts through which it passes? Uh, sir, it is Gumipi, Dakshin Kannada, Uttar Kannada, and uh, uh, Chandra Chandra, and parts of Kerala. Okay. Sir, uh, in Mysore. Part of Mysore also? Uh, okay. Very small part. Very small part. Okay. Which are the rivers that originate in Karnataka? Uh, sir, it, it, uh, River Kaveri, River so Kaveri passes through which states? How much percentage of Kaveri passes through Karnataka? Sir, Kaveri passes through uh, four, uh, three states and one unit uh, uh, Karnataka, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu. Uh, uh, with regard to the share of Kaveri in Karnataka, it is around uh, 40%. Okay. Okay, fine. So, uh, can you tell me what is uh, special about the landscape in some districts of Karnataka uh, due to which they contribute to the maximum coffee production in the country? Because uh, I think 70% of country's coffee is produced in Karnataka. I am asking that some of the districts of Karnataka, they have predominantly coffee plantation. Okay. So tell me about those districts and what are the climatic features which enable coffee cultivation over there. Mm -hmm. So districts include, include uh, Dakshin Kannada and Udupi, uh, uh, sir. 
दक्षिण कन्नड़ इज द मेजर डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोलार ओके so recently that movie kgf part 2 was also released it did quite well commercially uh, what do you think is the impact of such movies on youth because after that movie there was a news that uh, a young person uh, uh, probably a teenager he consumed too many cigarettes and he was admitted to a hospital which was also sort of life threatening for him what impact do you think such movies have particularly on teenage kids as a movie impact depends upon the person the movie has both positive and negative uh, uh, angles in it firstly if in a positive way uh, a youth can see it as a a normal person coming from a no background and uh, rising it to become a a, a a very powerful person he can take it in a positive Take it as as an inspiration. Otherwise, in a negative sense, he can also be guided towards violence. Fine. So, short trek is one of your hobbies. So, where have you gone last for a short trek? Uh, the recent one was for Rami. Uh, so, I am confusing it with another one. Ah, uh, Savandurga was the recent. Where is it located? Uh, it's a, it's in Bangalore district, sir. Okay. Sixty kilometers from the Bangalore city. Okay, so is it a short hill or something? Ah, uh, it's a granite, monolithic granite rock. Oh, okay, fine. Thank you. Okay, Rashmi, <coughs> you want to join Indian Forest Service? Yes. But it is different from uh, the normal civil service. Mm, yes. How it is different? Ah, uh, sir. Uh, It ha- it, uh, it has very well, uh, diverse uh, uh, diverse profiles. Sir, it varies from uh, conservation, which is uh, so there are both similarities and uh, differences. Uh, similarities is that both protect both civil service and forest service are uh, protectors of land, sir, and also they involve with the grassroots level and they work towards the inclusive role. Differences is that uh, we need to deal with the wildlife. uh here they people can uh, like uh, voice for their uh, rights whereas in case of animals they can't voice for their rights and also uh, tribal or one of the grassroots uh, uh people sir uh, compared to the uh, civil service and forest service since the tribal so we got and uh, so there is bit difference good okay, good How your knowledge of civil uh, civil engineering is going to be helpful uh, in executing your job of forest service? Uh, sir, uh, I can use my knowledge of uh, civil service engineering to help in construction of uh, uh, construction and maintenance, or in can also in uh, uh, supervising the road works, dam works, or check dam works. Good, 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 good. What what important wildlife uh, you can you can see in uh, city situation cities. Wildlife. Hmm. Uh, so we can see birds. Hmm. Uh, or we can come across uh, even like domesticated animals can come across. No, a wild. One wildlife. Only wildlife. I want. So, so for say for example, uh, in Rajasthan, camels can be seen in different cities. Hmm. In Bangalore, what you will see? In Mysore, what you will see? Ah, uh, sir. In, in city, of, in cities, ah, uh, yeah. In in the uh, case of Dasra, we come across uh, elephants, sir. No, that is the different thing. Uh, the domesticated. That is domesticated. There are leopards in Chamundi, sir. Okay, 
एंटी वेनम वॉट फॉर दे आर यूज एंटी वेनम ओके वर्ल्ड डायवर्सिटी हॉट स्पॉट्स हाउ मेनी हॉट स्पॉट्स आइडेंटिफाइड इन द वर्ल्ड एंड इन इंडिया इन इंडिया थ्री आर यू श्योर और मोर You tell all, all, all two or three, whatever you want. <laughs> three, sir. Three. Sure. Yes. Or four. Yes, sir. Only. Yeah, it's four. It is four. Yes. Sir. <laughs> Then you two, three, and four. Yes, sir. It's four. And how many in birds? In bird. Sir. How many hot spots total identified yes, in the world? Twelve. It is more than that. Okay. Sorry, sir. No problem. Read about it. How many national parks in Karnataka? Uh, there are five national parks. A name? Uh, Bandipura. Bandipur. Uh, Nagarhole. Hmm. Batra. Um, Bandarkata and. Uh, Good. What do you understand by minor forest uh, produce? Sorry. What do you understand by minor forest produce? What they include? Minor forest produce. so these are the output of the forests uh which have been classified uh, under some example uh, tenulis hmm um, lak gum presence good good the last question is uh 5g is uh, i mean it's a reality i mean it's coming to india uh how it is going to affect the normal life We are presently we are using 4G. How it will be different than 5G? Sir, it has uh, positive effects and also negative effects. Positive effects is that uh, the connectivity will be going to improve. So, for example, it can be used in online education. It can be posted to hmm. and uh, it we can reach even the rural areas. Negative effects is that the problem will uh, uh, from the radiation, sir. A few researchers have pointed out that the radiations uh, will have more effect compared to 4G, and also a product. Um, there is one more uh, side effect. When uh, 6G will be a possibility in India? Which year? Probably another four year, four or five years. Then four or five years, we will get to 6G also. Yes, Because technology is uh, developing. Our team has already told that uh, deadline. That by that time we will try to achieve that 6G. I will go to it, sir. 2030. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, Miss uh, Rashmi. <coughs> so you have passed out in 2013. Uh, you are uh, from Chamraj Rajendra College of Engineering, mm. which is one of the better colleges, and you got gold medal. So you are one of the best civil engineers. And after 2013, what were you doing? Uh, sir, I was applying for uh, jobs and also to try to get positions. Applying for jobs, you are uh, one of the best uh, civil engineer. Mm-hmm. So why is that uh, you did not join the jobs? Uh, sir, I was striving for college jobs. Uh, if you if you can have buildings mm. to fulfill the ecosystem services, because buildings are replacing forests or trees. So, can we have buildings which can replace the ecosystem services which is provided by nature? So, sir, we can intimate the imitate the nature to some extent, but we can't replace the ecosystem with the buildings. Sir. That is true. Yeah. But can you elaborate on what you said earlier, the imitation? Ah, uh, sir, it could be probably. Uh, In fact, that, that is our ideal. That is to yeah. have imitation, complete imitation yeah. of buildings to nature. This is the idealistic situation. But as you said, uh, we may not be, but mm. we are trying. Mm. So rather than being very categorical, saying we do not, mm. we are trying for that. Uh, sir, one there could be multiple ways. Sir, first could be we can use local materials on the construction of the buildings. Secondly, we can you uh, integrate it with like vertical forming can be done in the buildings or rooftop uh, uh, forming or rooftop cultivation can be done. Uh, we can provide um, a free space for. Uh, 
free mo for the free movement of animals or we can even domesticate the animals within the buildings what are ecosystem services uh, sir ecosystem services are the um, basic services provided by the uh, which are part of the ecosystem sir for, for example uh, water filtration water filtration uh, soil production soil conservation all right uh, who was kanakada sir kanakada uh, sir uh, okay. so you stay in kanakada sir mm, yes, yes sir i'll tell sir It's quite popular in Karnataka. It's not a new name in Karnataka. Uh, sir, I'm not getting the exact English name to say it. Sir. What? They, they are uh, part of Dasa tradition. Mm -hmm. Say that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Okay, Rishmi. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm.